Hi, everybody, and good afternoon. Welcome to our first uh, Twitch live stream for my intro psych summer class. Uh, I see a bunch of you getting logged in and putting your names in the chat. Uh, could someone let me know? Can you hear me and see me okay? Is everything coming through clear on your end? I'll wait just a second just to make sure. Your best way of communicating with me if you've never used Twitch is to use the chat. Um, that's your best uh, bet. I, I will be monitoring it on my phone and I'll be able to see anything you put in there. Okay, perfect. Everything loud and clear and good. Fantastic. Well, good afternoon. My name is Eliza Setmeyer. I am your instructor for this very short four week class that we have together, right? It's going to go quick, uh, but it's summer and uh, we're jumping right in. So uh, I'm really excited to have so many of you here. I'm going to be trying to hold one of these live streams each week in an effort to connect with you and give you an opportunity if you have any questions for me. My goal with these is to kind of go over what the materials are for the week. This one will be the longest of all of them just because it's our first week and I want to kind of go over our website and a few materials. Otherwise, normally it will be maybe about 30 minutes or so just kind of going over what's going on for the week. And if you're joining me live, that's fantastic. Uh, if you're watching this later as a recording, that's also fantastic. So uh, what we will do is let's head over to Canvas uh, and look at our web page and kind of go through uh, the setup of the class just a little bit. I want to talk about like just a couple of kind of key elements. And if at any point during this you have questions for me, please feel free to put them in the chat and I will be happy to answer them. I'll always also end with some time for questions. So if you don't have anything for now, uh, you can ask me at the end. And I am at home for this live stream and uh, I have five cats. So you might get a bonus cat visit during this, during our time together. Um, we'll see. I, one of them is kind of circling around. If she gets too close, I'll grab her. <laughs> um, someone said, I noticed there will be a maintenance downtime on base from Friday to Tuesday. Will that affect any material needed? There shouldn't be. Um, are you talking about on Canvas or on the ebook site? It should be okay either way, right? Um, obviously, if we run into an issue where we can't access anything, we will have to troubleshoot that. Uh, but as far as I know, uh, we should still be able to access things like Canvas and, and so on. All right. So um, if you made it here, this is our Canvas homepage and everything is linked from this spot. So if you can make it here, you should be in really good shape. Um, you'll notice there's a little description. There's a link to the announcements, a quick link to the ebook site, which is going to be an important one to bookmark. And I'll, I'll talk more about that later. And then you can see here, here's the mandatory orientation, how to get a hold of me, help and campus resources, course documents and videos and then the four different weeks and have a nice summer at the end of it. So everything is linked right here on this page. You can also use these links over on the left to access announcements, modules, and your grades. But everything is either on this site or the ebook site, which looks like this. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So if you click here where it says start here, it's going to take you directly to the mandatory orientation materials. But let's go ahead and click on modules just for a moment. Um, and I want to just kind of go over how this is all set up. And uh, I've been teaching online now for, gosh, about 12, 13, 14 years, somewhere in there. I, I'm a very organized person, so I hope that everything feels very clear to you. If it's not, um, there are probably resources on here to help you out. And if it's still not clear, you can always email me and ask. I am checking my email constantly uh, and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. You'll notice right here at the very top is the syllabus. And I don't want to go over all of it. Please make sure you read through this on your own. But let's take a quick look at this. Um, it tells you my name and my email. Now, I'm not on campus because we are um, in summer officially, even though we're still taking classes. So the best way to get a hold of me is always going to be email. Um, if you call that phone number, I might not get that message um, anytime soon. So please email me if you have any questions. You can call me Elisa. You can call me Professor Setmeyer. Dr. Setmeyer is alive, but that's okay. If you want to call me that, that's fine too. Uh, but Setmeyer or Elisa or Professor, um, those are the things that most people call me. So email is the best way to get a hold of me. There's a little description, some objectives and outcomes. There's some information here about the textbook. Now, I know that textbooks are expensive. 
uh, but you need the book in order to have any chance of passing the class. So the book does contain all of the exams that we will be taking over the next uh, four weeks. It has all of the chapters that you will need. Um, it is absolutely impossible to pass the class without the book. With that being said, I did write the textbook and so I was able to control the cost of it. The average intro psych book is like $200 to $300. Ours is only $87. So um, that is very reasonable. If you haven't already purchased it, please make sure that you do that immediately as that first component is due by tonight, that mandatory orientation quiz, which we'll talk a little bit about uh, later. But because this class is so quick, uh, the deadlines come fast. We're basically cramming a semester into four weeks. So um, what you can figure is each week is the equivalent of about a month of a normal semester. So again, uh, don't fall behind. Uh, it, it will be a little bit hard for you to catch up if you do. So make sure you get the book. I'll show you where you can find that information later. You might consider downloading the Canvas app or the Twitch app on like your phone or tablet. And then you'll definitely need access to the internet since it's an online class. Other than that, you should be in really good shape as far as like required materials. I have a bunch of information here about codes of conduct. I want this to be a really inclusive learning environment. We're going to be interacting with each other here on Twitch and then also um, in the discussion forum. So just make sure that you're always being respectful and mindful uh, of the things that you say and everything going on in those forums. Uh, as far as late work and exams, so the way that this class is set up is you have one week to complete the materials at every given point, right? So right now, week number one is open. It will open Monday morning at 12.01 a.m. and close Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. You can complete the materials at any time during that week, but once the week closes, it is too late to turn anything in. So if you email me at like 12.02 a.m. next Monday, I will tell you I'm so sorry, but it's too late. Now, if something comes up, um, I will do my best to give you uh, a little bit of extra time. There might be times where that's not always possible, given how short this class is. But in order to have any consideration of an extension, it's really important that you reach out to me before the deadline. If you reach out to me at 11.58 p.m. Sunday night and say like something happened, I haven't gotten it done, can I have one more day? I will allow it. If you reach out to me at 12.01, 12.02 a.m., it'll be too late. So just please try and be mindful of the deadlines. Um, also make sure that you're not copying or cheating. Give me all your own beautiful creative work. There's some stuff here about smoking and Title IX, sexual misconduct stuff um, that I'll let you look over. Um, as far as the assignments in this class, you basically have a few of them. And the first one is due today, and I'll show you where you can access this and we'll look at it together. But I do have a little mandatory orientation quiz that I need you to complete before 11.59 p.m. tonight. And the reason that is so fast is because the ad drop deadline is literally tomorrow. And so that ensures that you have purchased the ebook, registered it, read through the syllabus, and you're getting going on the materials um, quickly. Again, our class moves pretty fast. So I'll show you that in a little bit, but make sure that is done by tonight. You're going to be doing two discussions every single week. Um, those are going to make up a big part of your grade. So those discussions, or think about them almost like little mini papers, are going to be your way of showing me that you understand the materials, that you can connect and apply them. You'll be in charge of responding to my questions and then also responding to a peer to get up to 15 points. There'll be two little uh, short self-assessment surveys that you'll take in weeks two and three um, as a way to kind of check in with you and see how you're doing and kind of give you a chance to reflect on your progress. There'll be a brief closing assignment during the final week. Um, it's kind of my opportunity to get you to think back over what we've covered. And then there'll be four exams, basically taking one each week on the materials that you are reviewing. And we'll talk a little bit more about the first exam uh, kind of a little bit later today. Uh, since uh, we are in week number one and you do have an exam due this week, I will be sure to go over that. You can see the distribution for points. Everything is just based off of points for your grade. If you have a memo with access, please make sure you send that to me as soon as possible so I can get you all set up uh, for whatever accommodations you might need. It's going to be really important to get that to me quickly, again, as we do have an exam already this week. If you need help, I have lots of help links in here. There's some stuff here about student tech support, 
college information, and then underneath that, it's just each of the week's schedules. And I have it all laid out for you, so hopefully it's very clear to see. This week, which uh, opened Monday and will close on Sunday, um, this week you're in charge of doing the syllabus and mandatory orientation. One through four, right, chapters one through four. Basically, we're covering four chapters each week, two discussions, and one exam. Right? So you can kind of follow that similar format each week with a couple of little other things sprinkled in. The only other thing you have this week is that little mandatory orientation quiz due by tonight. And then you can see next week, great, right? again, the same format, four chapters, two discussions, an exam, and then um, a little self-assessment. Same for week three and week four, um, though that one I do have a little closing assignment there as well. So the biggest thing is um, to really just kind of keep on top of this. So um, I don't think that it's an overwhelming amount of work by any means. It's very approachable. But you want to make sure that if you know you're going to have a busy week, get it done early. Or if you're going to be busy at the end of the week, get it done early. Uh, just be really aware of those weekly deadlines. And each Monday morning, what you'll see is that week's materials will open up. Um, and then every Wednesday when I do these live streams, I'll kind of be going over them and allowing for questions. There is a little bit of extra credit that I'll offer in every live stream. I will give you an extra credit question that you can answer for a few points. Um, and that is a great way to get a couple of points uh, beyond the normal points you're earning. Uh, and we'll do that every single week. So I, I know I went through that kind of quickly, but are there any questions at all about the syllabus for now? Um, there's still lots of other things to cover, but anything for, for the moment? Oh, wait a second, because you're usually about 30 seconds uh, behind me, so just to make sure. And if you don't have anything now and you think of something later, that's totally fine, too. So I have a little um, welcome letter that's right here underneath, um, kind of going over everything that I just covered, um, you know, some things to kind of get started with as we enter into the class. Underneath that is the information about the textbook. So if you click on this, um, the book is called Psyched, and it is, again, something that I wrote, um, and the link to purchase it is right here. So if you click on this link, it will take you directly to the site where you buy it. Um, again, it's $87, which is really, really reasonable for a textbook, as sad as that is to say. So make sure that you purchase and register this book today, if you haven't already. Um, that way you can do that mandatory orientation quiz. Uh, somebody said, do we answer the question on the chat or is there a designated area? I'll show you. Um, thank you for asking. I'll show you there is a, an assignment under each week for the extra credit and I'll show you where you can find that and how to answer it uh, in a little bit. So uh, make sure you get your copy of the book. Again, uh, you absolutely cannot pass the class without it. If you run into problems with ordering the book, I have an email and a phone number here that you can reach out to uh, for the publisher. Or if you struggle with something related to the book, um, again, here's their information. Otherwise, you can always reach out to me, but that stuff, if like for some reason when you order the book, uh, you run into some issues. Um, there's some more here about registering and accessing the book. I kind of walked you through step by step in case you need a little bit more help. I have some sample discussions and a rubric for the discussions, a little video overview of our class. I'm really big on using videos. I have a lot of YouTube videos in here. Some of them are a little older. I might want to update them. I have very short hair in them. You can laugh at me on that. Um, but if you need more help, there's a lot of resources here that might be helpful for you. Um, there's some more down here. If I skip that for just a second, I have compiled a list of some frequently asked questions that you could always um, take a look at, right? If you have questions about things going on, there's a little student lounge where you can talk with each other if you wanna kind of bounce ideas off of each other. Um, and then there's a bunch of other stuff here about student services, how to find your grades and use them as a learning opportunity, some stuff about Canvas and technology. And I'll talk about this one a little bit more here um, in a moment, all right? Um, okay, so, um, Obviously, this is Twitch, and um, I don't know why I decided to use Twitch. I have a friend who uses it all the time, and it felt like it would be kind of a fun, more modern thing than using something like Zoom. Um, but it might be a little bit more complicated. But um, if you click on this link here, it says subscribing to my Twitch and YouTube channels. So you do not have to do this, but I would really recommend that you do it, right? And you can do this right now while we're meeting. That's totally fine. 
If you have not found me on YouTube, go find me on there. Uh, my channel there is Psyched with Setmeyer. Go find me and subscribe so that you can follow my videos. Um, or just make sure that you have it linked somewhere. You will definitely want to find me here on Twitch. So um, I'm going to be doing these live streams each week. And on the plus side, if you join me live, you can answer the extra credit question to get those points. If you're watching this later as a recording, because maybe this time and day doesn't work for you, which I completely understand, uh, you can still get those extra credit points if you are subscribed to my channel on Twitch. That allows me to kind of track your viewing and attendance on there. So um, I've given you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. And I don't want you to pay for this, right? Uh, obviously you can pay for it, but there is a way to subscribe completely for free. And so what I've done um, is kind of walk you through step-by-step -step how to do that. Basically, if you or anyone in your family has an Amazon Prime account, um, you can go through and subscribe for free um, for 30 days at a time on Twitch. And our class is only four weeks, so that would be plenty of time. So you can follow these instructions on here. Please take uh, the time to do that. Again, if you're watching this later as a recording, that's the only way to get extra credit. And if you're joining me live, it minimizes your ads, which are super obnoxious. They'll only be one at the beginning and that's it if you're subscribed. Um, you can privately chat with me. You get a little football cake next to your name, which I think is fun. It kind of looks like a hamburger, but it's a football cake. I'm a big football fan. Uh, so if you could take a moment to do that at some point this week, that would be fantastic. Um, if I go back here, Again, all these other resources are here for you if you need them. But if you're feeling good about the way everything is organized, you found and subscribed on Twitch and YouTube, and you have everything kind of clear, you've purchased your book, you can go ahead and jump right into the mandatory orientation. This is the first thing to do, and it's just kind of my way of making sure you know what um, is going on with the class, how everything is structured. And then there's a link here to a quiz and an introductions discussion. So if we click on this little mandatory orientation lecture, it's going to give you a five page format overview of the course. And what you'll notice is you can click on these tabs at the top. You can also listen to it. If you miss the sound of my voice, you can listen to it or if it's just easier for you. And so what you're gonna to wanna to listen to and read the pages that are here. Of course, read through the syllabus that we covered very quickly. And then when you're done with all that, you'll complete that mandatory orientation quiz on the ebook site, which I'll show you a little later. Again, find me on YouTube and Twitch, and here's all those instructions if you haven't done that. The second page here tells you a little bit about the organization of the course. And as we talked about a minute ago with the syllabus, basically each week you'll be reading four chapters from the textbook. You'll be reading the lectures that go with them watching the lecture videos that go with it. So it's kind of three components for each chapter. You'll be doing two discussions each week and then one exam each week. And that will be kind of our general format. There'll also be a couple of self-assessments and a closing assignment and everything will be due Sunday night, except our final week, which randomly ends on a Friday. But I will be sure to remind you quite a bit um, as we get a little bit closer. The next page is a little bit about me. Um, again, my name is Elisa Setmeyer. I shared some stuff with you on here. Like uh, I have uh, quite a few cats. I'm a huge football fan. Absolutely uh, been a huge Tom Brady fan for years. It was real sad when he retired. Um, that was me at Gillette Stadium. I got a chance to go see him live there. I'm a huge fan of escape rooms. I've done over a hundred of them. They're one of my favorite things to do. I absolutely love um, the holidays. I love the outdoors, right? I, I kind of shared a little bit about myself with you here, um, just to give you a little bit of a perspective on who's teaching the class. The fourth page is a little bit with um, like internet settings. If you're running into issues, you might take a look at this. And then the final page has to do with help, right? If you still need help, you can always reach out to me, but here's the Moore Park Distance Education page. Here's the phone number for Canvas support information on people to contact if you're struggling with purchasing the textbook and then there's also um, information here if you run into issues during the, our class with the book um, i'll talk about the exam in a little bit right i promise I'll, I'll get there so much to cover on day one but i promise i'll get there so once you have read through all of this then you can go to the ebook site and take that mandatory orientation quiz and we'll head over there in just a second um, so i can show that to you but that's where you can find the lecture. And then if you click on where it says quiz, it's gonna say, hey, this is on the ebook site, you're gonna have to go there. 
So once you've purchased and registered the ebook, this is what the ebook website looks like. It'll say psyched up here along with my name. There's a little welcome video on the home page. And then up here at the top, you can find um, all of the links. There's welcome, chapters, additional resources, exams, and then a little temporary grade book. And I mentioned this to a few of you by email, uh, but your grades here on this site don't automatically come over to Canvas. It's a little bit obnoxious, uh, but I have to bring them over manually. So um, if you're waiting for the deadline to pass, you can always check those scores here in the gradebook. So don't be worried if you don't see it in Canvas when you're done. But each week, if you click on chapters, this is where you can find the different chapters that we're reading, right? Chapters 1 through 16. Make sure that you read these. I did write them, right? Hopefully you find them interesting and, and kind of engaging. Um, there's always going to be a little outline and objectives and introduction, and then it jumps right into the chapter, right? And anything that's bold is a key term that you'll find at the end. Uh, but make sure that you're reading through these chapters. That's where you're getting the vast majority of the information for the class. The exams are also on here. If you click on the exam link up at the top, um, and this is where you can find that mandatory orientation quiz. So once you've read through the syllabus and you have read through the lecture, you're ready to go. This is where you will come to complete that by tonight. So if you haven't already done that one more time, uh, make sure you do that today. So when you're ready, you'll click begin your attempt. But notice here are the instructions right right here. I'm going to highlight them for you. You have 15 minutes to complete this and you only get one attempt. So really make sure that you're ready and organized before you begin. You can use your notes, you can use your book, you can use anything at your disposal, uh, but just make sure that you are ready and organized. Same advice holds true for the regular exams. And so let's, let me show you. So if you click begin your attempt, it's going to take you to the quiz and you'll see there are 10 questions. Somebody asked how many, right? There are 10 questions on this little short quiz. Uh, and they're going to be about things from the lecture, the mandatory orientation lecture, the syllabus, um, and those kind of related things that we just went through. So for example, which of the following is not true about your instructor? I most definitely do not hate football. So you would click on that and then you click save answer. Notice that once you save it, it turns kind of like a gold or orange color. And that means you've saved that and you still have these other ones left to go. If you miss an exam or discussion, it can be made up the following week. That is false, right? Everything is due by Sunday night. Save answer, right? Let's say I get to this one and I don't know the answer. I could skip it and go ahead. You can see they turn kind of a gray color if you skip them, but make sure that they are all answered and saved. And when you're done, you'll hit I am finished, submit for a grade. And it'll say, are you sure? Right? <laughs> you only answered two <laughs> for shame. Um, and so you can see here, the second you submit it, you will get a score. I scored a shameful two out of 10, but I did only answer two, right? To be fair, but you'll be able to see what you got correct and what you got wrong. Um, and then remember this score doesn't automatically come over into canvas, but I will bring it over once the deadline has passed. Okay, so that's the mandatory orientation quiz. Make sure that you complete that again by this evening. And it's linked here on Canvas so that it shows up in your calendar and your to-do list and so on. There's also a little introductions discussion that um, like 36 of you have already done this, which is fantastic. But this is an opportunity for me to kind of meet you, right, meet you in a way um, and have you introduce yourself. So once you have done all of that, right, once you've done all those things, then you're ready to jump right into week number one. You'll notice week one is open. Week two is locked until next week. So you can't work ahead. The class is not like self-paced in the sense that you could work ahead. Uh, I will likely open up the last week uh, a little early since it's a shorter week, but otherwise we'll typically go week by week. Yeah, so all of the exams um, are going to be a combination of true, false, multiple choice and matching, right? So um, no short answer or like essay questions. It's all true, false, multiple choice and uh, matching questions. Okay. So before I move to week one, are there any other questions about the textbook, the mandatory orientation, the format or structure of the class, like any of that kind of stuff? Uh, before we jump into week number 
one. I know I'm talking a ton today and it's summer. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I just want to make sure everyone is feeling good about the class and the way it's organized. And as I mentioned, I promise the, the future sessions will be a little bit shorter um, since it'll just be looking at what we have due that week. Um, you can use either. So someone said, should I use my personal or school email for the textbook? Whichever one you're going to uh, check more and be able to access easier. I don't actually see your email information. Just try and make sure that your name matches uh, what your name is in the class, just so that it's easy for me to find your grades and bring them over. Also make sure that you register for our section, right? We are in 56091. So make sure when you're registering for the book that you do pick the right um, section. Otherwise your grades won't show up for me and, uh, and it makes it a little bit complicated. Okay. Anything else for the moment before we uh, look at week number one? I'm surprised that none of my cats have come over at this point. I'm like, I see them, but they know to stay away from me. If they come close, they scoop them up and put them in, uh, <laughs> put them in the live stream. So I think they've learned to keep their, their distance. All right, um, let's go to week one. If you think of anything else, feel free to put it in the chat. So for this week, we follow that usual format. Like I mentioned, we have four chapters that you're in charge of reading. I know it's a lot, but it's a short class. You have two discussions and an exam. There's also that um, optional extra credit question. And then I will post a recording of this when we're done. And then there's a little wrap up checklist. So you can see everything under week one. If you complete everything that's under that week, you will be in great shape. So for each chapter, as I mentioned, you're gonna wanna do three things. My kids make fun of me for holding three up this way. I can't do it the other way, right? So three things for each chapter. Uh, you're gonna read the chapter in the ebook. That's number one. Number two, you're going to read through the lecture that I have right here. And then number three, you're going to watch the lecture video. So the lecture video is me lecturing to PowerPoint slides like I would do in class. Um, not a bad idea to take notes and kind of really pay attention. The chapter lecture follows the same format as that mandatory orientation one. It's going to have five little tabs at the top. Um, it's going to be recorded so you can listen to it. And the first page will always be objectives and summary, what you're going to cover. Beyond the book is the second page. Here's some stuff beyond the book. And you'll see there's a little overlap here with some of the lecture materials. And that's fine, right? The more that you're exposed to it, the better um, it will be for you to remember it. So um, if I have a video in here, watch it, right? If I give you materials, click on them. Anything that I give you, explore it. It's gonna help you to understand the materials even better. The third page will always be in pop culture. Here are some shows and things in popular culture that connect to these topics that we're covering. Sometimes I'll put little fun videos in here. Other times it might just be links or descriptors. The fourth page will always be here are the key terms that you need to know for the exam. Um, so these are the terms from chapter one that you're gonna wanna make sure that you know. So if you wanted to study one chapter at a time, here's where you could find that. And then finally on the last page is application. Now that I've read through this, how could I apply it to my life in some way? So here are some things about degrees and careers and psychology for this one. But click on all of the links, read through everything or listen to it. And then don't forget to also watch the lecture video. And this video, they're typically gonna be like 20, 30 minutes or so of me lecturing about that topic as if you were taking the class with me in person. So if you do those three things for each chapter, you'll be in really good shape. That'll help you to get all of the information that you need. And once you've done all of your reading, there are two discussions each week for you to complete. And there were 15 points. It's like that for every single one. So if you click on summer discussion number one, every single one's gonna look very similar um, in terms of formatting, right? Up here at the top, you're gonna have some instructions, requirements, and grading, right? So some things like make sure you watch my little introduction video. I made a little video for each one. Again, some of them are a little bit older, um, but they're still relevant. Watch the video. I'm going to give you some tips and suggestions, sometimes even the information you need for the discussion. And then you're going to answer all of the questions that I give you. Make sure you are detailed in your responses. This is a chance for you to show off your understanding of the materials. Show me that you can apply them and that you understand them. Think about them more as like little mini papers. I'm looking for like a solid paragraph or more for each question that I give you. 
You're also going to want to read through a couple of your classmates' posts and reply to one of them to get two points for a peer response. So 15 points in general. I do have a link here if you want to see kind of a sample discussion and a rubric of what I'm looking for. But otherwise, you can watch my video and then you'll find the questions below. So for discussion one, this one is all about the history and scope of the field of psychology. So you're going to answer these three questions. And when you're ready, what you'll do is you'll hit reply and it brings up a box where you can type your response. Not a bad idea to save whatever you type here. Maybe you type it in like a document and then upload it just in case something goes wrong. Then you have it as a backup and you can see several of you have already done this, which is fantastic. And then let's say um, I'm reading through and I really like the way that Michael like responded to this. Oh, I'm like, I love the way you define nature and nurture. I could reply to Michael to get those two points uh, for the discussion or to Alicia or to Brandon or whoever. So make sure that you're not only answering my questions to get 13 points, but then also doing a peer response to get the other two. Same thing for discussion number two, right? Same concept and idea. You'll click on discussion two. And you'll notice it has that same format, right? Here's the instructions, the requirements and grading. Here's my video. And then underneath it, you'll see the prompt, right? Here are the questions for you to answer. And this one's about biological psychology and neurons and the 10% myth of the brain. And sometimes with these, there'll be like a little article for you to read or an activity to complete. And then you can see that people started to respond to that one. So um, every week, right, these discussions are going to be worth a lot of points. Make sure you put a lot of time and energy into them. I will be grading materials on Monday, typically, after the week has ended. And you'll get some feedback from me, and hopefully you'll understand very quickly what I'm looking for. But remember, there is a rubric and a sample here if you want to kind of get a little bit better of a metric for what I'm looking uh, for in these. So, so far, right, you've read your four chapters, you've done your two discussions, there's also an exam each week, right, and typically there'd be one exam every four weeks because we only meet for four weeks, it's one a week, right, so again, quick. So if you click on exam one, it's going to remind you that the exam is on the ebook page. So when you're on that ebook page, underneath the mandatory orientation quiz, if you scroll down, Right here are the instructions for exams one through four. So you're taking the exams on the ebook page. You'll click begin your attempt when you're ready. I'd also like to point out that for every single exam, what I've done is I've given you a study guide so you know exactly what to prepare. So if you click on study guide um, number one, it's going to give you a list of all of the terms that you need to know for the test. If it is on this page, it will be on the exam. If it's not on here, you don't need to know it. So uh, if you are looking at chapter one, these are all the terms that you need to know for chapter one and two and three and four and so on. So um, I've also given you the diagrams. This one exam has two diagrams on it where you're labeling parts of a neuron and the brain. Um, and so it'll be important to know those. So I wanted to give them to you to practice. Uh, but go through this study guide. If it were me, and this is totally up to you, what I would do is I would type or write out every term on the study guide and I would have it in front of me during the exam. That way you're not trying to find the materials, right? You're not like, oh, was it in the book or was it in the lecture or the lecture video? If you're trying to find that information, it's going to use up valuable time and it's going to make it really hard for you um, to finish in a timely manner. The exams are set up where you can use your notes, you can use your book. But if you're trying to look everything up, I promise you, you will run out of time. So really important to study like you would for a normal test. If it were me, I would have all of this in front of me. I think it's always better to over prepare for the first exam because you don't know what to expect. And then if you do great and you realize you did too much, you can always dial it back. But you don't want to have that moment on exam one where you're like, oh, I should have studied more and it's too late. Okay, so make sure that you are reviewing the study guide, go through everything that's on there. Um, and then when you're ready, you'll go back to the ebook site and you'll complete exam number one. So um, with the exams, this is the same, uh, the instructions are the same for every single test. So with the exams, you have 75 minutes and you get one attempt. So make sure that you're ready and you're organized and you're all set before you begin. Some little tips, right? When I mean ready and organized and set, you've studied, you've prepared, 
you've reviewed the study guide, right? You know what's going to be on there and you have it all down. You have 75 minutes to spare. You have good internet. You have a quiet space to take the exam. Set yourself up for success and make sure you do all of those things. You can use your notes. You can use your book. But again, if you're trying to understand and look up each answer, I promise you it will run out of time. So make sure you study and prepare. Don't forget to also save uh, all of your responses, right? When you go to submit your exam, make sure they're all gold or like orange and saved, and then um, you're all set. So the exams are very straightforward. I don't believe in trick questions in any way. I've given you every term that you need to know here on that study guide. So just make sure that you've studied and prepared and reviewed, and you should be in fantastic shape. And yes, I'll be giving the extra credit question in just a couple of minutes. We're almost through everything. I know I'm talking fast and it's a lot, but we're, we're getting there uh, for sure. So the exams and the discussions are your biggest point earners. Make sure that you utilize the study guide. Make sure that you complete the exam and the discussions. Please, please, please do not miss the weekly deadlines. Again, this is like my one hard rule that I follow that I don't allow materials to be submitted late unless you have reached out to me before the deadline um, and we've made other arrangements. Okay, so if something is going on, like I know things come up, there are emergencies, life happens, you just need to make sure you reach out to me before the deadline and I would be happy to work with you. Okay, so we're going to follow that very similar format each week. Uh, as I mentioned, when we're done with this, I will start like an upload download process and I will post the recordings of the live streams on here. So if you're watching this later as a recording, you found it. Nice job. Um, but I know sometimes uh, we can't always make it. Maybe you're on a trip somewhere fun or um, you have work or other responsibilities. These will always be recorded for you. And I will always give you an extra credit question each week. So um, let me, I'm going to put that in the chat. Um, so I write them out ahead of time just to kind of save myself, but I'm going to put it here in the chat. And if you would like to answer this, it will be worth a couple of points of extra credit, right? And those points will help you, right? If you miss a few points on the exam or on a discussion, that's going to be really helpful. So I'm going to put this um, in the chat. I'm sorry, actually, I have a couple of reminders for you and then I'll put it in the chat. Sorry, not to, uh, not to lie. So um, first reminder, right? And I typed this up, so I didn't want to have to delete it. Uh, please take a moment to try and figure out the subscription on Twitch and YouTube, especially this week. If you can take care of this this week, then you're set for the entire class. Again, I've given you step-by-step -step instructions in a video, so this should be pretty easy to do. But if you can go ahead and do that, I would appreciate it. If you scroll up, you can see the people who've done it, right? If you have the little football cake next to your name right here, um, like Emilio here does, or um, if you look up here, I don't know, like some of the names, it's hard to know quite what they are. But if you have the little football, name, football cake next to your name, then you've done this and you're all set. So if you could take a moment today or tomorrow to figure that out, that would be great. The other reminder that I have for you, and I'll put this in the chat as well, our next Twitch live stream will be on Wednesday, May 29th at 1 o'clock p.m. Okay, so my goal is to try and stick with the one o'clock on Wednesday. I do have three little kids and uh, we're in the middle of like all-star softball and there's a lot going on. So if something changes, I will of course let you know, um, but I will do my best to stick with my Wednesdays at one o'clock uh, for our four weeks that we have together. Um, and again, if you can make it fantastic, if you can't, um, there will always be a recording. Now I can give you the extra credit question uh, now that we have um, gone through all of that. So this is the week number one Twitch extra credit question. What is meant by the phrase correlation does not equal causation? Explain and give me an example. So what is meant by the phrase correlation does not equal causation? Explain and give an example. So when I give you that, you're not answering it here on Twitch. You're going to go back to Canvas. And what you'll see is under each week, there's this optional Twitch extra credit number one. So we're in week one. So you're going to click on this optional Twitch extra credit number one. And what you'll do is up at the top here, you're going to click on start assignment. And that's going to bring up this little text box where you can answer the question 
that I gave you just a second ago in our um, live stream, right? So um, you'll type your response up, you'll answer it, and then you'll hit submit. It's going to give you a little confetti burst and little trophies today. It's always something different and random. We can look forward to seeing what that will be every week. Uh, but some instructions here, again, make sure that you've either put your name in the chat here on our Twitch if you're not subscribed. If you are subscribed, you don't need to worry about that. And if you're watching this later and you're subscribed, you don't need to worry about it either. So um, you can do that every single week. In the end, that will add up to 20 points. And those 20 points would cover a missed discussion, maybe a poor score on the exam. That's a lot of points. Um, so I'm really trying to reward you for joining me or for watching these later since it takes up a lot of our time together. Uh, but that's where you can answer it right here where it says optional Twitch extra credit number one. Next week, you'll see one that says number two when we get there and it's open. One last thing that you can see here at the end of every week, I've given you like a little wrap up checklist. So you can, if you want to make sure that you've done everything, here's all the stuff that's due this week. And you can also find this on the syllabus that we went over, but everything that you need to do this week is right here. So just kind of quick reminders for you. Biggest thing, if you have not purchased the ebook, make sure you buy that today. Make sure once you've purchased and registered the ebook that you do the mandatory orientation lecture and quiz. Make sure that you read chapters one through four this week in the textbook. Read the lectures for one through four, watch the lecture videos for one through four, complete discussions number one and number two, take exam number one, and then if you want to do the extra credit question that I just gave you, which I hope you do, um, you want those points, right? Like go for it. That's worth up to five points. Find me on Twitch, find me on YouTube, make sure that you get both of those like subscribed and squared away. Um, and then what we'll do next week is I'll kind of go over your feedback from your grades that you had for week one, give you a little bit of kind of general feedback on how everybody did. And then we'll talk about the materials for next week and it'll be much, much shorter um, because we won't have to go through kind of the format and structure of the class. So I believe that is everything um, that I wanted to cover for you. I know I talked a ton and I talked really fast, uh, but does anyone have any questions at all? Anything that you're still confused about or want me to show you one more time while we are live here together? I'd be happy to. Uh, some of you asked me questions about the to-do list, right? So if you look at this, let me um, pull this over so you can see it a little better. If you look at this little to-do list over here on the right, pet peeve of mine about Canvas, let's say that you complete the mandatory orientation. You have to click it off yourself in order for it to disappear. It doesn't automatically do that for you. So if you want to keep track, you can kind of, re, you know, eliminate things as you go. But everything is uh, organized under its week. There's that checklist. It's all on the syllabus. Biggest thing is just make sure you get everything done before Sunday night and you should be in really good shape. Again, quick class, but hopefully it goes really well. We have a nice four weeks together. Uh, I'm going to hang out for a few minutes if you do have any questions for me. Um, typically what I'll do at the end is just kind of wait about five minutes or so in case you have questions. If you don't, at this point, you are welcome to log off, go get that book, get going on week number one, um, and email me as always if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize my video just so I'm not staring at myself awkwardly. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for your time as well. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week, um, that everything goes smoothly. And if you have any questions, like I said, I'll hang out for a little bit. Um, and you're more than welcome uh, to ask me here in the chat. Or if you think of it right when we're done, um, go ahead and send me an email. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this, but I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and uh, I will see you next Wednesday at one o'clock for our week number two live stream. Yep, so thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. And again, I'll hang out for a few minutes if any of you think of any questions or, or have anything you're confused about.
And as I mentioned, I am still here. So if you think of anything in the next few minutes, feel free to put it in the chat. Otherwise, have a wonderful week. And I will hope to see you all next week. All right, everyone, it looks like most of you have logged off, so I'll wait another minute or two and then I'm going to close this up so I can start that upload and download process. As I mentioned, if you think of any questions, feel free to email me. Um, otherwise, I will hope to see you all next week.